and we are now recording and welcome to today's CPD webinar session and I'm just handing over to you Alexander. All right, thanks very much Debbie. Um, so uh, first of all, uh, apologies for any background noise you may hear. Uh, there is uh, uh, builders outside my building uh, uh, replacing the cladding <laughs> so you may hear the occasional drilling or uh, or shouting um, so I hope this is not uh, uh, I hope they uh, it's not too much noise um, so I'm uh, Alexander Mikroyanidis. Uh I work at the Open University in the UK uh, and my specialty, my expertise is in technology enhanced learning. Uh, I've been working for more than uh, 10 years on uh, different uh, European and nationally funded projects uh, that have to do with different aspects of uh, enhancing learning through technology uh, uh, and specifically uh, with specific focus on personalized learning, uh, on lifelong learning, uh, on open education uh, and open educational resources uh, and more recently I've also been working on uh, blockchain technologies and their applications uh, in, uh, in education. So within this, uh, the, within this webinar we'll see, um, uh, uh, I'll talk about a specific uh, project that I'm currently working on which is uh, called QualiChain. This is a European funded Horizon 2020 project and within this project we are looking at uh, different ways of, of uh, using blockchains in education and, and employment and uh, my involvement in the project has to do with uh, lifelong learning uh, and specifically facilitating lifelong learning through the use of blockchain uh, technology. Right. Uh, let's go to the next slide. So what is the general motivation behind this, uh, behind this work? Uh, it, is, uh, uh, it is a fact that the, that the education model today is quite centralized. Uh, there is, uh, uh, education is controlled mainly by educational institutions that provide a certification mechanism that provide quality assurance. Uh, but this is not uh, sustainable in the sense that a lot of learning increasingly happens outside uh, the brick and mortar lecture halls. Uh, it happens in, uh, within communities of like-minded individuals uh, or by contributing to projects and initiatives in the real world. Um, learning is also far more international than it, than it used to be. Uh, there is uh, 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 the need for students, for example, to travel to different countries to improve their employability uh, prospects. And this, uh, uh, this causes different problems when it comes to recognizing uh, learning achievements uh, uh, across borders. And also in, in our society, in, we live in a networked, digitally empowered world, especially uh, this is quite obvious, uh, especially these days during the, uh, uh, the pandemic and the post-pandemic uh, uh, era, uh, where uh, we, uh, uh, the uh, achievements, knowledge and skills um, are not, uh, uh, the education providers do not have the remit or the means and capacity to cover uh, all the, the wide range of activities uh, that the learners engage with, uh, which, which attest to these um, achievements and skills. Um, right, so this is uh, our vision towards a more decentralized uh, education model, um, where the uh, awarding and validation of qualifications does not occur exclusively under the management of an education uh, institution or an employer, uh, but uh, the ownership of the learning experience and its outcomes uh, is uh, transferred to individual students, teachers and peers uh, without, uh, at the same time, without compromising on the safety, security and accessibility. Um, 
a few uh, words about what is blockchain. Uh, this is quite well known in the context of uh, cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin. Uh, but, Bit but blockchain is a lot more than that. It is uh, a cryptographically secure, uh, shared and distributed ledger. Within this ledger, each block aggregates a timestamp batch of transactions and is uh, identified by a cryptographic signature. Uh, all these blocks are backlinked so that the chain can be traced all the way back to the very first block created. And um, uh, in, a, uh, in a nutshell, this uh, ledger, the blockchain, contains an uneditable record of all transactions. So this is essentially what a blockchain offers us is uh, um, an immutable uh, and instantly verifiable uh, ledger, which is not controlled by a central authority, but is equally distributed and shared among uh, the different nodes of the network. Right. So, um, right. So, the uh, few words about the Quality Chain project. Uh, as I mentioned, this is a Horizon 2020 a European funded project. Uh, the uh, it, uh, we have uh, it started um, uh, two years ago. Uh, we are currently in the third and final year. Uh, we have uh, ten partners, uh, uh, both educational institutions and also uh, uh, public agencies uh, in countries like Greece and Portugal, where we are investigating how uh, decentralization and how blockchain technology can help. Uh, with uh, different aspects of uh, employment and recruitment uh, in the public sector. Um, so the um, uh, project objectives are uh, generally the creation, piloting and evaluation of decentralized solutions uh, for storing, sharing and verifying education and employment uh, qualifications. Uh, within the project, we are assessing um, the different kinds of impact, technical, political, socioeconomic, legal and cultural, um, that these uh, uh, decentralized solutions can have on education and also on employability. So within the project, we are targeting four key areas. The first one is lifelong learning. Uh, the second one is smart curriculum design. The third one is public sector staffing. And uh, the third, uh, uh, the, and the, sorry, the fourth and final one is uh, human resources consultancy and competency management services. Um, within these four key areas, we are conducting pilots, which I will present uh, right now. So the, the first pilot has to do with uh, university process optimization through smart curriculum design. This is uh, led by the National Technical University of Athens in Greece. And uh, this pilot aims to optimize the university operation and curriculum design, as well as facilitate the validation and verification of skills and qualifications of both undergraduate and postgraduate students. Uh, the goals of this pilot are, first of all, to provide analytics and recommendations so that um, the curriculum uh, of, a higher in, of, of a higher institution, in this case, uh, uh, the uh, NTUA, can be redesigned and updated um, uh, based on the, um, uh, on the needs, uh, on, the, on the skills gap, uh, gaps identified uh, in the job market, uh, and also based on the feedback from um, uh, from students and staff. And uh, the second goal of this pilot is the student accreditation and also lecturer validation and recognition through a trusted, immutable, and secure uh, blockchain ledger. So within this pilot, we are building an ecosystem where uh, uh, students are being awarded with uh, blockchain badges, which are uh, immutable and secure. And at the same time, they are also providing their feedback and recognition uh, to, uh, uh, to their educators, to the educators, to the lecturers through, uh, um, uh, uh, through blockchain badges. 
Um, the second pilot has to do with staffing the public sector, and we are looking at a case study in Greece. Uh, this, is pi this pilot is conducted by uh, the Supreme Council for Civil Personnel uh, Selection, ASEP, uh, which is the main authority in Greece for uh, quality, uh, for ensuring the, uh, the transparent and quality assured uh, recruitment of um, uh, public servants. Uh, and this is done in uh, collaboration, this pilot is conducted in collaboration with the Hellenic Parliament. So this pilot is, uh, has the following objectives, uh, to provide personalized candidate notifications for job vacancies uh, by matching individual profiles with available jobs in the civil service, to validate academic and professional qualifications of individual candidates, uh, and finally to improve the efficiency of the recruitment process in terms of time and credibility. The third uh, pilot of quality chain has to do with, again, staffing the public sector, uh, but this time in uh, Portugal. So this pilot is leveraging quality chain in order to staff the Portuguese public sector. And the, at the core of this approach, we have the Phoenix EDU system, which is used in Portugal very widely uh, to, uh, by universities um, uh, that, pro that want to provide an alternative, a, a digital alternative to their, uh, for certification to their uh, graduates. So uh, this is a platform, Phoenix Edu is an academic management platform that supports full program and course management and includes the issuing of certificates or diplomas to uh, graduates in Portugal. So this integration of uh, the Phoenix EDU system with QualiChain allows the, the diplomas issued by uh, Phoenix EDU to be uh, automatically uh, inserted into uh, our blockchain, the QualiChain blockchain, so that the Portuguese public administration can have access to all certificates issued by, by uh, por uh, Portuguese universities uh, and uh, in order to, assure, to ensure the authenticity and integrity uh, of these diplomas. Right, the, the next pilot uh, has to do with uh, recruitment and competency management services. Uh, this is again a case study in Portugal uh, and specifically in the uh, region of Madeira uh, where uh, we are targeting the um, um, uh, uh, we, are, we, we have partnered with, the, uh, with a government agency that is responsible for health uh, personnel administration in this uh, Portuguese region. So the main goals of this pilot are the support uh, of the implementation and coordination of uh, human resources management policies in the health sector, uh, speeding up the recruitment process by val validating the CVs of applicants, uh, facilitating the selection and mobility process using semantic matching methods in order to pair job opportunities with uh, the best candidates and finally to perform identifications, identification of gaps in the skills of employees and suggest training for skill development. Finally, the uh, last pilot which, is, uh, which I am uh, leading on behalf of the Open University has to do with lifelong learning and how uh, blockchain technologies can support lifelong learners in their learning journey and also in advancing their career. The objectives of this pilot are uh, the award of lifelong learners with transparent and immutable educational accreditation. Uh, and on top of that, we want to offer lifelong learners with personalized recommendations so that we support them in reaching their personal or professional learning goals. The stakeholders of this uh, pilot uh, are mainly lifelong learners. These are learners that pursue learning throughout their lifetime for either personal or professional reasons. And also educational institutions. These are institutions that provide education or training services, either paid ones or free. This is the main use case we are looking into within this uh, pilot. So we have uh, the lifelong learner who studies online courses. These can be uh, paid or free courses, uh, such as uh, open educational resources and MOOCs. 
And at the same time, uh, the educational institution is offering these courses and is also offering uh, smart badges. Uh, these are blockchain badges, uh, blockchain-based badges, uh, as, and as a recognition of the uh, learning achievements of uh, the lifelong learners. So the, the lifelong learner has a personal e-portfolio within, uh, uh, which is based on the blockchain, and this portfolio contains uh, their smart badges. These badges are uh, immutable and instantly verifiable accreditation, and they also contain the key skills that the learner has uh, acquired. So on top of that, we can uh, provide, by using this information from the uh, uh, badges, from the smart badges, uh, we can offer personalized recommendations about jobs that match the skills uh, that the lifelong learner has already uh, acquired, or courses that will help the, uh, the learner um, uh, provide, uh, acquire additional skills in order to, uh, 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 to progress their career or uh, reach a personal uh, learning goal. So, this, uh, so in the next slide, you can see uh, a mock-up screen of the job recommendations uh, that we offer within this pilot. Uh, on the top half of the screen, you can see a map view of uh, job recommendations. These are uh, 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 jobs that are recommended uh, to the learner uh, and are a full match to the skills of the learner. Uh, and on the bottom uh, half of the screen, you can see job recommendations for uh, jobs, for job openings that are a partial, that, are, that the, the skills required are a partial match to the skills uh, that, the, uh, that the lifelong learner has already acquired. So for, the, uh, for these job recommendations, uh, the learner can be uh, offered course recommendations. These are courses that will offer uh, to, to the lifelong learner the missing skills, the skills that are required uh, to progress their career towards the, the job of their preference. So uh, within uh, the past two years, I have been uh, engaging the, uh, the community uh, around lifelong learners, uh, around lifelong learning, uh, and I have been uh, eliciting requirements from groups of learners, uh, of educators, of researchers and practitioners uh, within major educational technology conferences. So in the next slide, I will show you some of these, uh, some of the findings that have emerged uh, from this consultation exercise. Um, First of all, the, the, these are four major themes that have emerged uh, and reflect the, the major uh, challenges uh, associated today with uh, lifelong learning. So the first theme has to do with immutable, formal, and informal qualifications. So this, uh, so this uh, uh, theme has to do with uh, the aggregation of both formal and informal qualifications. Uh, that can be easily validated by employers and also educational institutions. Uh, the second theme that has emerged has to do with lifelong learning pathways and micro-credentials, um, specifically with the need uh, that learners should receive guidance in building lifelong learning pathways and acquiring micro-credentials in order to achieve their learning goals. This is quite important, especially in the current situation where we are moving uh, 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 in a post-COVID area, in a post-pandemic uh, uh, era. Uh, but the, the job market is still quite fluid, uh, and the needs, there needs to be uh, flexibility in upskilling or reskilling uh, of lifelong learners and job seekers. And this is what uh, micro-credentials offer and we are looking into uh, specifically how to offer this flexible accreditation uh, in a decentralized way uh, using blockchain technology. Uh, the third theme has to do with career counseling. Again, this is quite crucial uh, regarding the job market crisis and the fluidity uh, of uh, the skills required and the current trends uh, in the job market. Uh, job seekers should be provided with a comprehensive overview of the job market and the latest uh, market trends so that they can 
adjust, they can plan accordingly their uh, 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 lifelong learning journey, their, uh, and, uh, and seek the uh, appropriate learning opportunities to acquire the necessary skills. Finally, uh, a major theme that uh, emerged has to do with data ownership and privacy. This is quite important. Uh, it, is, uh, it is a need to, uh, 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 for, for learners and job seekers to own their digital identity and their e-portfolio uh, data and to be able to control third party uh, access to this data. Who uh, can access it for how long and in what ways. So these are the major themes we have identified within this pilot and we are working uh, towards uh, implementing, uh, towards addressing these requirements and implementing them uh, within the tools uh, and then within the platform uh, offered by the Quality Chain uh, project. So the next steps of this work, uh, as I mentioned, we are currently in, in the process of launching uh, an online platform which addresses the requirements that I mentioned before, not only about, uh, not only specifically about lifelong learning, but also regarding the other uh, pilots uh, of the project that I mentioned earlier. Uh, for example, the uh, public sector recruitment, competency management services. Um, and the next step uh, will be to pilot this platform, engage stakeholders through dedicated workshops and also through other opportunities uh, and online channels, for example, open online courses uh, and webinars. Finally, we want to collate and publish all the lessons learned and best practices uh, that we have acquired from the development. for this. I hope it doesn't happen again. <laughs> um, so finally, yeah, we want to, um, um, the, uh, we want to uh, publish and share with the, the community the lessons learned and best practices uh, that we have acquired from this, um, uh, from, this from this project and from engaging and piloting, uh, uh, engaging stakeholders and piloting the, uh, the quality chain decentralized uh, uh, platform. So um, uh, one last thing I would like to mention is that we are organizing a special issue uh, on blockchain-based decentralized solutions for learner empowerment, empowerment uh, education, re-engineering, and public sector transformation. Uh, this will be published in the uh, new uh, Elsevier journal, uh, Blockchain Research and Applications. So the, the call is already open, and it will be open until February of next year. Uh, and it will contain not only work related to quality chain, not only work conducted within quality chain, but also uh, external uh, work. So uh, if you are interested in, uh, if you are working on this area, uh, uh, please get in touch with me. Uh, I am the leading guest editor for this special issue. Uh, if you'd like to, uh, to get more information about this, uh, about this initiative. Thanks very much, everyone, for your attention. Uh, you can see on this slide the uh, main uh, ways to follow this work on the project website and also on our social media. Uh, and now I'll be happy to uh, take any questions. Thanks very much for that, Alexander. That's uh, really, really interesting. Um, and yeah, your, your builders are obviously <laughs> still still there, but, uh, but yeah. not to worry. <laughs> it's, it's, it's unfortunate timing, really, because yeah, they're not, uh, uh, it depends on the, on the part of the building they're working on. They're um, not always outside my window, but they have chosen this moment to, <laughs> to, to, come, to come right out of, outside my window to, to do their work. Um, so really, again, I'm really sorry about that. I hope it wasn't too, too distracting throughout the presentation. Oh, bless you. It was only a little bit. <laughs> no problem. Um, so thanks very so much. Does, um, I mean, does anybody have any kind of questions or maybe just some kind of comments that, um, that perhaps we could just have a discussion to see if there's anything further you want to know? Um, if you haven't got your mic, you can pop something in the chat as well and we can pick it up that way. Or are we just sort of having a think about it at the moment? 
I can't see anything in the chat so far. No. Doesn't look like we have any questions at the moment. I suppose, yeah, if something, uh, 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 I'll be available to, uh, to answer any questions offline as well, uh, if, uh, if someone wants to get in touch. Um, as I said, yeah, this is an ongoing uh, project, um, so uh, I'll be happy to, to receive any feedback, uh, and please do uh, 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 get in touch or uh, stay in touch with the project if you'd like to learn more about our activities. Um, we are doing uh, several uh, workshops uh, within uh, ALT conferences. I did a workshop last month uh, in the, at the OER Educational uh, Conference, um, and I'll be uh, again. I'll be doing several uh, sessions in some other uh, conferences later for this later this year. Uh, I, I have. Uh, uh, I hope the, there will be an opportunity to do a, uh, another workshop at the ALT conference uh, in September. So uh, hopefully I will have a chance to, to talk uh, uh, to ALT members uh, again in some uh, future events. But do, uh, uh, feel, uh, do uh, get in touch if you'd like to, uh, to learn more about this work. I can, I can already see a question in the chat about, uh, from Chantel. Uh, do you think many more institutions will get on board with blockchain for learning and education? There is, it's, it's still early days, uh, so there is several research uh, initiatives happening across Europe, um, mostly at an experimental piloting um, uh, scale. Uh, so uh, I'm already, there is already, uh, I'm already, aw I'm aware of a few cases that uh, institutions have actually deployed these technologies uh, in, in, in real life uh, with, with their students. For example, the University of Nicosia in, in Cyprus have already have been awarding blockchain-based certificates uh, for quite some time now. Uh, at the Open University, uh, we have been uh, part of a national uh, project, the Institute of Coding, uh, where we have been uh, awarding uh, uh, blockchain certificates, blockchain-based certificates to um, our students and also to the students uh, uh, from other uh, uh, um, uh, universities, from other UK universities that have been part of the project, like the University of Bath. Um, but again, I must say that these are, this is quite an emerging topic, uh, so there are not a lot of cases where there is a real deployment um uh with uh, uh within real with uh with uh, with, with, with within large uh, 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 uh accreditation in higher education uh i would i must uh, i think we are still at the level where we are building the infrastructure uh, and we are conducting experiments uh with with different with different use cases and different scenarios so, but this, this from, but this, this, this paradigm, these technologies do have, do hold a lot of potential. So, uh, I do expect to see uh, much more uptake uh, in the coming years. Um, uh, I can see another question from Caroline uh, regarding the scope for more micro credentials to be provided by educational institutes to meet uh, the missing skills identified by the system. Uh, so, as I mentioned, yes, the, uh, the micro, micro credentials and general flexible uh, accreditation and uh, towards reskilling or upskilling uh, is one of our major goals. Uh, and uh, we want to, uh, within, within quality chain and beyond quality chain, we want to help um, uh, lifelong learners in this, um, uh, in this respect. Uh, this is also this is uh, this is also part of the mission of the Open University uh, to give second uh, uh, to give uh, uh, new opportunities to uh, mature learners to give a second chance uh, to uh, to someone who wants to change a career, their career path or improve their careers 
um, and um, so this is this is also a, a, a goal that we have not as a quality chain project but also as as the open university uh, and you may be aware that we are we have already launched a micro credentials program with uh, together with the the future learn uh, a MOOC uh, a platform right I hope these uh, have answered your uh, questions, Santel and Caroline. If, you, if you'd like to uh, add something, please, uh, you can uh, 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 type in the chat or you can uh, unmute your microphones. Are there any other uh, questions or generally any comments you would like to um, bring up? And it all went quiet. <laughs> Isn't that typical? Oh, there's some great questions in there. So thanks everybody for um for posting those on there. Did did you say you were going to um let us have a copy of the slides, Alex? Yes, I I I'll be happy yeah to send you the uh to send you uh, should I send you uh, Debbie the the slides yeah. Uh, afterwards? Yeah, that'd be great. Send them to me, and then I can ask Christina to get them out when she sends the um the recording to everybody then. All right, great. Awesome. Oh, well, thank you ever so much. And um, if there aren't any more questions or comments, then um, I think we'll um, we'll call that uh, that done. But thank you very much. Thank you. Really interesting. And thanks everybody for your comments and uh, and lovely feedback there for Alex in the chat for a very uh, interesting and uh, must be watched area. This I think. <laughs> lovely. All right. Well, thank you ever so much. Oh, there's Thank one you. more comment on there from Jacqueline. Did you see that there, Alex? Uh, yes, I can. Uh, 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 the uh, the question has to do with uh, blockchain-based digital credential system that the Institute of Banking in Ireland have introduced in collaboration with the University of College Dublin and Deloitte. So I'm not uh, I'm not uh, aware of this initiative, but I'd, I'd be happy to I'd be happy to uh, to learn more. So please. Uh, Jacqueline, please uh, get in touch. Uh, uh, we uh, are both as the Open University as, and as Quality Chain, we are open to collaborations. You can see on our website that we are uh, on the Quality Chain website that we have launched uh, partnerships with some projects uh, and some European initiatives. So um, uh, I'll, I'll be happy to uh, to get in touch with the uh, with the people behind this uh, this initiative that you mentioned, Jacqueline. Th thanks very much. Oh, that's great! Really, really helpful. Lovely. Okay, then. Well, if um, if we're all done, we'll uh, we'll close this down a little bit early, and you go and get to have some lunch. <laughs> Great. Well, thanks ever so much for coming along and thanks for giving up your time today to do this. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. It's been great. Take care, everyone. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, did Alex, did you just want. Oh, he's gone. Um, <laughs> Jacqueline, I'll, um, I'll make sure we put it in the email for you when it goes out. So thanks ever so much for that. Take care, everyone. Bye now.